Hi everyone, this is Alia. I'm back with a deck review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Vox Arcana uh, Tarot, the Voice of Tarot. Um, this is a newer deck and it's my first collected deck. Now, when I first saw this, and that's the reason because I didn't go through all the images when I uh, purchased, this, purchased this one, I thought that by collected, uh, they meant that there's more uh, a theme to it. It's not like, like um, a collaboration of, um, of artists coming together and put, um, creating something and giving their uh, personal uh, input. Uh, so I thought it would be a theme, uh, a theme deck. And that's why I purchased it. And the, bo the, um, the um, box looks very good as well. But that is not the case. This is not what you're getting. It's um, not themed. It's not, there's um, not a lot of uh, uh, cohesiveness to it. So you will see that um, we have different images. You do um, get the vibe that there's a lot of uh, artists involved in this, although they try to make it seem like there's a, uh, not a pattern, but you know, they gave um, an idea out and the, you know, and the freedom uh, to the artist to create. But you can see that in, in the deck, that there's no, um, no theme. So this is the box. This is a newer um, packaging. And this is a beautiful packaging because you for it to open when you carry it around, uh, it won't. Whereas this one, and I have done a review of this, if you want, go check it out. I'm giving valuable information. Um, when it comes to this, the, it's an older uh, packaging. And you do see, you know, uh, the top coming off pretty easily. So if you carry it, um, you can have an um, accident. Okay, but it's a good box as well, you know. It's thick, it's nice. Okay, so let me open this uh, for you. Here, um, Here's the deck inside and the book. Now, my story with this deck goes like this. When I first pur purchased this and I got it, and I opened it. I saw that there was, um, other than the book and the cards, there were two images of the elements, right? So when I first looked at it, it was in the front. So then I looked at the back and I was, I went through the deck and I was like, oh my God, I only have two, so I'm missing the other two. And I was like, what should I do? Should I call them? Am I gonna use, use them? And then after I kind of you know, played around with the deck, this uh, two turned around so then i saw this and i was like okay wait a second i was holding the other two elements and now i have these two where did the other two go and how did these two you know come in um come in my uh deck when they were not even here uh and then it took me a while just you know <laughs> to figure this out but it was kind of a funny you know <laughs> okay so you do get the elements i don't know if you want to uh, use them and uh, how that will be useful um, to you one idea, but you don't have four cards one idea would be if you had the elements to use them for seasonality so if you wanted to um, Do a reading that like you wanted to see what season or what qualities it might hold so you could add that uh, But then you cannot do it because it's uh, just two cards instead of four So right now I don't have any other ideas about that. Okay, but that's nice. You know that you get extra things Gifts are always nice. They're always welcome. Okay, so we have a deck and we have a little book. Now, this book, it has this uh, lady's name on it, Jamie Elford and Sally Rose. Um, Jamie Elford is the same person who was involved or wrote this uh, nice little booklet. See that? The same person. And I really enjoyed reading this. And if you if you go watch this um, review, you'll see that I really, really enjoyed the quotes and the depth and the wisdom and everything. So I was expecting something similar in here, even a little bit more advanced because it's a newer, you know, deck. So I was like, okay, there's going to be more information now. But that's not exactly what you get. So you do get some languages. You see that? Uh, and there's a lot of information in, at the back of the book, because it's the Vox Arcana, which is the voice of tarot. They have uh, from all the artists, their names and what they, um, actually which card they made. 
and uh, they give uh, they give their, their uh, information so I think it's Instagram only if you want to you know get in touch with them and then there's a song for not every it says that they asked all the artists to provide a song that they felt that related to the um, the artwork and you know to the um, to the feeling the emotion that would it would bring but not everybody did so whoever did then you know it's over here the, the songs so you could um check that out as well and then when you're going to reading the arcana that's a major so do you, you have an upright uh, meaning and then you have a reverse and you have, um, it's like a description of what is in the, um, the card, but not exactly always the way we're used to it. So you might find some cards that you really don't understand what's going on. You're asking yourself, how, why, what am I supposed to do with this? And then you open up this little nice booklet and you do get the um, input of the artist and then it makes sense. Now that, I'm not sure if that is how I want my tarot to work. Is it that I want the artist to make sense or is it that I want the card to make sense? So I don't want it to deviate a lot from the original since it's all right away. But that it depends on how you see it and what you know you like doing. This is my first um, collected deck. I know there's other ones out there and one of them that I was very interested in. It was the 78, I think, tarot. It's an older deck, but it was an amazing deck, but I did not purchase it at the time because I wasn't sure how it would perform. So when I'm reading with it, I didn't know um, if I was uh, gonna be able to read because I wanna have a theme uh, deck because I do big spreads and I wanna you know, have um, be able to read fast because I do a lot of uh, readings uh, I used to do back then more than I do now. Uh, I kind of narrowed it down now because I'm like, I can't talk the whole day anymore. But back then when I was younger, I, I was uh, doing a lot of reading, so a lot. So I needed a deck that could perform as fast as I could. <laughs> and I didn't know if it could. That's why I've never purchased. So this is my first purchase, purchase of a collective deck. Um, now, oh, the size of the deck, like, um, hold on, the size and the cardstock. Okay, this is a good uh, cardstock. I do like the thicker one because it looks uh, rich and it looks better, thick. I like decks like this when they're thick. I want to feel what I'm holding. Now, um, the size, do you see that? Pretty good, standard size, although I prefer smaller um, decks. Okay, let me put this back. I don't want to lose them. I value my tarot. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> okay. And um, the backs, you've already seen the backs. It's a beautiful back. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Reversible. I don't do reverse, but whoever does, it's reversible. And I think we're ready to go through the deck. Now, there might be things that um, I'm not going to like, and I know, uh, starting from the beginning. <laughs> However, uh, I usually don't do collective decks, so that's okay with me. You know, I, I was not expecting to love every single image. That would be crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the full, the full. We love the full. This is an interesting full. Now, the, the thing with this deck to me is more or less I like to get, if I, I don't mind the image, I just want to get the emotion. I want to get the right energy and I want to be able to quickly uh, get in and out because sometimes when you do big spreads, you're doing mirrorings and you're doing, you're doing a lot of different ways and layers and a lot of different ways that you read that you want to, you want to be able to tap in and out fast. Now this, probably because I'm not used to this deck or I'm not used to this um, imagine, images, the way they are expressed. But this to me is a different fold than, what, than the energy that I'm used to. So this seems to be a fast moving fold. It seems to be a fold that forgot something apparently, or is not sure where, where he's going, but he's also like in between the clouds. So I thought that the meaning of a fold was, you know, it was the initiation to the real world and not, you see like there's a lot of symbolism that's all over the place for me. 
that's not a bad thing though and i will i will use this deck for um april i think it's gonna be for general uh readings so we're gonna see how it's gonna perform and we're gonna see how i'm gonna perform using it and if i see that it doesn't perform properly then probably if you see me with another deck something went wrong uh you know so um let's see we'll see all right so that's a uh, that's a nice fall i do like it the way it, it's it is and the the cat and the dog everything and uh, i like it that he's kind of a so innocent that he forgot everything and he just left but i don't know if that is supposed um to happen okay now this ma magician is very serious for me very serious and he's determined now the magician is not about uh, so much of his determination that that i could find it in a um in the emperor card or maybe some of the the kings when it comes to their determination even maybe when it comes to strength so i would think that a strength you know for you to be able to control your um, fears and um, increase your passions and courage then you need determination so then i could see it but the magician is not so determined it's just that he knows he can do anything so this brings up another quality of humans that is not so much a magician quality but it doesn't bother me this is me being really picky you know but when i see these two together or maybe let's just put it like that someone in is is initiating something that um it's easy for them to perform all this determination to me um, makes it seem that he went through something before and the magician does not bring that energy it's um effortless when you see the magician things are effortless you can trick people you can be very diplomatic in your ways you're very um, good in communication there's a lot of uh, good qualities and bad that the magician has and i don't see that here so throughout the deck and i don't want to be you know saying that because it seems that i don't like it and it's not i love the images and they have done a great job putting all this together it's just i'm not used to this type of um um decks and to me that seems you know kind of um different and that's why i'm keep saying it but i don't want to keep saying it because that's not sound right anyways so this is the high priestess now with her things are a little bit better because she does hold a lot of the symbolism that we're familiar with in different ways but i can see that there however the way she's like looking here it's more of um someone who's very uh foxy you know uh, very um, smart, but dangerously smart. And the high priestess is not so human, humanized, humanized, if, if that is a word. It, and even if it's not, it still sounds great for, for this uh, situation. So this is a very nice high priestess. Now the empress, what's wrong with her? Is there a problem? I don't know. Okay, so she's looking at you and then she's not she's interested but she's not she cares and she doesn't nice empress nice empress it isn't it brings up different um aspects different perspectives i understand because some of the cards i had to read uh the input of the artist because uh, it's a condensed uh, version of whatever they um turned in with their work with their artwork so that we understand but that doesn't mean that this is the right uh, energy, that it is aligned to what I need to see. This, ha this has more of a feeling, let's say, that, that could also be justice. It could bring up a little bit of justice if I could see both eyes. Maybe, I don't know, even, I don't, it could be judgment. Uh, anyways, a painful judgment. Now the emperor. Now another another problem that I find with this kind of a dex is that usually I want some of the images to match. So if I'm doing a personal reading and I have someone who is married or is in a, a, a very serious relationship, probably I will get somewhere in there the emperor, especially if they have children uh, together, even if they're married or not, it doesn't matter. So then that is my clue of what is going on in the personal life of uh, the person that I'm reading for. And this is very important because when we do a reading, it's not always love readings, okay? We do serious readings to help people with their lives, uh, to help them proceed, 
by pro find uh, problematic areas. There's more serious seriousness into reading uh, tarot than what is um, out there. And that's why I started this uh, channel and that's why I'm going to be doing a lot of talking and educating people over this. However, going back into uh, my emperor, m my main issue here is that this is, I could not pick this up when I'm doing a reading. I would really have to concentrate because they have nothing in common. They don't look like, or they could, they have different energies. Do you really think that they could be together? <laughs> so if you see those two together, you, you would assume that there's a problem in the relationship, although it might not be a problematic relationship. Th that is what I'm saying. Although Now, I do like the images. I like her and I like him, but they're from a different movie. And we put together the, the movie. That is the thing here. The hair find. He, now, whoever did this, it does bring in the religious aspect of uh, the hair of mine, which I like, uh, but it does bring the wisdom and the knowledge that other uh, uh, readers want to see in their uh, readings, in their hair of mine. So um, that is good because it, it works on both levels. That could work. Why not? That's a nice hair of mine. Now, the lovers. Although I am uh, a fan of the lovers, that they are not about choice and they're about love and unity. Uh, I don't know what to say about this image. I just find the whole image kind of awkward. So uh, they, they seem like teenagers trying to make out. They don't even know how to hold their bodies together or... It's just an awkward emotion that I'm getting just watching this, you know, just looking at it. It's just it's not, I'm not aligning with this at all. It's a nice image, but it's like they're kissing and they're making out. But do they want each other? Do you understand what I'm saying here? The chariot, this could work. No problem. It's just a different way of... Uh, Depicting the chariot, but it's a chariot. You can, you could tell if if you see this, you can tell that it's a chariot. So whoever did this, you know that they did their um, um, they studied the image before, because you see, you know, and the the symbolism and stuff in here, the strength. Now this this um, I would not mind. There's some cards that I wouldn't mind having an entire deck from this artist. I don't know who did it, but this is, to me, this is very nice. I like the colors. I like um, the way it seems. I, I like that it has something more from a, an um, ancient world, uh, more modernized into our world. And the lion not really being there, but still being there and the intensity of it. However, the control that, you know, uh, this person has, I, I really, really like it. On the sun and you know the expression um, I like it I really do the hermit the her this is like a steampunk um, vibe for the hermit but he's very uh, he's in the universe somewhere cruising you know and uh, I don't know it's okay I don't see any, 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 like he's studying what the, the universe trying to figure this, this, this review is turning really bad. Huh? I, I sound really bad, but it's not that that's not the point. And I don't mean it in that way. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep on going and see how this turns out to me. <laughs> let's, let's just see. <laughs> Actually, it's not the review that I'm concerned about is me using this uh, deck to read for your um, monthly energy and I really want to see how we're gonna work together and maybe I should do a part two uh, giving you the behavior of the deck with someone who does not read um, with those kinds of um, decks and that, that will, I think that will be more interesting than the actual review because you more or less have seen uh, the deck you know it's been out there for I mean, I'm assuming a couple of months, even more. So anyway, let's keep on going and we'll see.
So the wheel, the wheel. Interesting wheel. Interesting wheel. I see where they're coming from. It's the, it's the good and the bad. It is, but I'm missing the point again. Because I want to see all the elements. And if I don't see the elements, I don't want to just see two. Because then it takes me more into a yin-yang situation. And not the expression of an energy that is expressed through the four elements. This is a different kind of situation. Do you, do you understand the difference? Ah, it's a nice image though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind have this as a painting in my home. This is justice. Justice has a vibe of um, judgment. If you just look at that without this, it, it does uh, look a little bit like justice. Uh, but it, it could work. This could work. The hangman. I don't like his foot the way it is proportionally. It just seems that it's out of place or something. And it's um, uh, it's not rich as an image. Like you, if you get this, uh, I bought the, I, I bought the deck for this, and I was hoping that there will be more of this in here. That's why I bought the deck. This. So look at these two together. You get this image of the richness, of the colors, of the theme, of uh, the symbolism, of everything, the vibes that it brings up, everything. And then I get this right next to it. And it's a major arcana. Like, I wouldn't mind having this in a minor. Uh, minor. But in the major arcana, when I get so powerful images, I want... Because when you do a reading, you want to see your majors right away, kind of. This, this, this I love. This, I, this should be on the box. This, what, this is what they should have done. This is very nice. Uh, temperance. Just her. Temperance. This I don't like at all. This brings the... Um, this actually um, makes me feel of the religious version of devil. Yeah, that's, that's what it makes me feel. And I don't like that because I don't see it like that. I have a different way of understanding uh, devil and how we use it in our tarot. And I don't want images like that. It's, it, is, um, it is a problematic card for a lot of uh, um, people. And having images like that uh, do not add but hurt the tarot as a whole. And we get all that, you know, from the world out there because of these images. But not this. I'm not saying that this is not a good job. I'm just saying the vibe that it brings. It's more like scary, more like um, the dark side. And there's a lot of um, tarot decks, and I, I do own some, and I will be doing reviews of them, that they're dark. But they're very nicely expressed, that they respect uh, that... Uh, that uh, other side that we all have when we don't feel good. And that's the, the nicest way that I can put this. The tower. Okay, the tower. The tower. I'm not going to say anything else. The star. That's a nice star, actually. This, this works. This is a beautiful moon. A beautiful, a beautiful moon. It's a very nice moon. It, it reminds me of the strength card from another, um, one of my favorite uh, strength cards. And it's what deck now is this? I can see the image and it's really close to this. I can see the image in my head. I cannot uh, come up with that, the deck because I have not used it for s so many years. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember. Maybe, maybe I'll put um, something in the description below about it. It's so beautiful, beautiful. That I don't mind. So this could work. This is okay. Like if I would see these two together, they work. There's a. It seems like they have the same thing. That's nice. No problem here. No problem. This is this is beautiful. This I like very much. The world. Now, 
this is what I was talking about earlier. So here you see the world. We don't have all the symbolism uh, of the world. However, we do get the feeling. And this is kind of a naked and all that, yeah, I understand. But you do understand, you, you get the vibe. You understand that there's um, conclusion. C feels good. She feels good. She has done her work and she feels good and there's completion and she's waiting for her uh, rewards and open up a new cycle coming from progression and elevation and that's perfect for her. And I can see that. And she doesn't care that she's naked because she feels good. Confidence. That's nice. That's a very nice image. Um, Ace of Cup. No, it's a, it's a nice Ace of Cup. But it could be the, the, the Queen of Cups. Why not? What would make this image look more of a Ace of Cups instead of a Queen of Cups? That's my um, question here. And I want to see what is the, the, whew, the Queen of Cups. And I think I'm not even going to upload this the way it's turning out to be. I like both of them. I like both of them. Okay, Ace of Cups. Now, if you get used to it, because you do see the cup like in the middle um, and it's big, if you get used to it and you kind of ignore everything else, um, then, then it could work. I like this. I like this. And I like it because um, sometimes when... Um, it, it does bring up the quality of a star and the vibe and the emotion and the vibration, you know, that surrounds the star card. But what happens because we see this contradiction on the image and it draws your attention as to the reflection. So you're thinking, okay, okay this is a reflection and you look at it, then you understand that the, there is uh, the continuity uh, and you need your other half, let's just put it like that, for you to be complete. So for you to complete uh, your journey on earth, because you cannot progress your kind, whatever that might be, without your other half. And we are full in our, our own uh, completion, but if you want to progress in life, which is by nature, that is what you should be doing, uh, then you need your other half. Okay, this brings up vibes of another deck that I cannot remember right now. And 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 um, what is it called? Come on, I'm really tired. It's just my brain is not functioning properly right now. Um, there's no way I will remember it. And it does come up with um with a golden um, details and stuff now, the newer version. You probably know which one I'm talking about. You do. It could work. The image could work for me. Now, this four of cups. I don't know. I really don't know how it could work. Because now, sometimes what happened for, for tarot, we, we uh, use the symbolism that we uh, see on the card sometimes. And that's, that's the difference when we read Lenormand. And here, the symbolism gives me something totally different. Um, I don't know. It could be more of a five of cups. Like not, not even caring about him, ignoring him, crying over something else. Not seeing all your efforts. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a four of cups. If it, did, if it didn't say that here, and you didn't see that. And you're just looking at this cup, right? What would you think? Can you see that? What would you think of the card? I wouldn't think of a four of cups. No way. And I wouldn't. <laughs> no words. No words. I have nothing to say about this. He's too much in all of his ways. Too much. Too much muscle. Too much. It's not even normal. <laughs> Too much. It could work though. Now the six of cups. 
uh, that I had to leave because I did not understand. And he looks like my father, but he's <laughs> my father is not so cute. <laughs> um, he has a DNA of um, maybe Chinese a little bit. Uh, well, my dad is not Chinese, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm mixing things here. But anyway, um, the first time I saw him, I was like, that could be my dad if he wasn't that cute. Because my dad is not that cute, but he looks like that. Anyway, and um, I had to read it to understand it. Now that I've read it, I do get it. But I don't know if that is the point to have the need to read the cards to understand what they're doing uh, when it is a right away system that I don't know okay so seven of cups that could work I understand uh, what I'm saying I don't have to read anything I understand do I really really like it I don't know if I really really like it because I'm used to a different kind of a uh, seven of cups and I like the exploration um, because this seems more like a manipulation of uh, uh, choices. And we do get that. It is okay. This could work. Eight of Cups. This, this holds an emotion of the first time I saw it and I did not look at what it says. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that's a Five of Cups. That's exactly what I thought. Not an Eight of Cups. Because Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups sometimes, and I was looking at this, that, you know, but the Eight of Cups sometimes could be the, like, a, it can work. It depends on the reading that you're doing. Uh, so if it's a personal reading and it has to do with um, crossing, uh, going and coming back, uh, such as crossing, though, then you, this could come up and then you know it's a crossing. Uh, it might be traveling, but it's not as a, a ta um, taking a trip. That will be a six of uh, swords. This is more of um, if you're expecting someone to come or leave, or and it, and it has a crossing, and I don't see that anywhere. This works for me as a five of cups. The eight of cups does not hold all this. Uh, um, I don't even know what's this feeling right now, this woman here. Or is it a man? Um, I don't know what the, uh, that person is feeling. It, it, because I'm thinking right now, if it's, uh, if it's, because um, we do have the emotions like from the water that you see it from the moon coming down. So you could kind of think that it's the cups, but then it could be a nine of swords easily you know it's like easily could be a nine of swords if you see the thing is if you have a deck and you don't know what it is could you figure out like that i i know i look at it i know i know and sometimes even the marseille style uh that we use you, from the way that they put things together it gives an emotion so you see three swords and you're not just three of swords and yeah, it's a mental activity and three meaning I understand all that, but it's a three of swords in a, a powerful way of the swords. You understand what it is. Whereas in some decks, when you see the image and you still don't get it, you're like, what is happening here? This is nice because it works. This is nice as well because this works as well. I don't like all these cups here. They could deal without it. And they look like uh, rewards, like, um... okay, page of cups, page of cups. Sorry, uh, page of cups. Mm, it's not a problematic uh, card. The knight of cups. The first time I saw it, I could not figure out because it's so pink. It's so pink and everything is so pink. And I was like, what is this? What is she on? Because you, you have the, the, is it a blanket or a towel or whatever that is? And you have the legs and you have the background. And I was like, what is she doing? And then I kind of figured it out because I'm smart. And I was like, okay, this is a flamingo. This is a flamingo, you know, flamingo. Very nice flamingo, Knight of Cups. 
this is the Queen of Cups that we looked at uh, earlier. I don't know what she's looking at. That could be a four of a, a four of a Pentacles holding on to something, but you have the element of uh, the the surprise or anticipation. Does the cup have the element of anticipation? Is the question. The king, he's dark. He's dark. He's dark. I'm not going to say anything about his darkness. Ace of Pentacle. Uh, for some reason, they like putting faces on the aces. And there's another deck that I'm going to be reviewing and they're doing the same thing. But we'll see how it works there and why it works. Um, I'm not sure about this part. Because it's a pentacle. It has to be greater, <laughs> bigger, <laughs> more... Um, more i don't know this is a nice of uh, a nice two of pentacles i like the waters behind like the ocean water all this um turbulence um i like it this i like uh three of pentacles e e the first time i saw it i thought it was an eight of pentacles i don't know why that's what I thought. But it, it is a three of pentacles and it, it works uh, nice as a three of pentacles. We don't get everyone in the uh, depiction as we are used to and stuff, but still it's a, it's a nice depiction. Now this guy's uh, very determined not to let anything go. So this works. This, this is nice. This is very nice. I, like, I really, really like this. There's some of the images that I really, really like. That's very nice. Intense and nice. And it just holds real, um, real issues uh, from, from our civilization that we should, we should, we should care about more. And that's, that's, that's a nice five pentacles. The six of pentacles I have to read. Once I read, I understood. Do I like it? No. If I had another one, uh, instead of this, I would take this out and put the other one in, no matter what it is. This, uh, I don't like it. I, I, I don't appreciate this at all. At all. I don't even know. This is a kind of a insulting in a way. In a nice way. But I don't understand this. And if you turn around and you look at that, what does it remind you, you know? I don't, I don't know. I have issues with this card. This is cute. And it reminds me of... um. Because I don't mind the artwork. I just don't like the, the way it, the, the, this looks, everything. This reminds me of Beautiful Creatures Tarot, which is one of my favorite decks uh, in its own way. And I, I will talk about it when another time comes. But it, <clears throat> excuse me, it reminds me of that and it doesn't bother me as the artwork. Even if it was like this, and they had the same um, meaning in the book because it doesn't really make a difference. I mean, uh, okay. And I don't even know if YouTube is gonna allow me this video to, to upload because of this image. No, I, I, there's uh, other things that they have worse images than this when it comes to nudity. Not worse, that's not being nice. Because I do, uh, I do appreciate uh, the artwork. Now, appreciating the artwork and, I, and liking the artwork is uh, different than not being able to work with an image. Okay, and do not take this the wrong way. Because I really am um, trying um, just to express my thoughts when it comes to the deck. And I do appreciate this deck. Like I, I, I'm really happy that I have it in my collection. Really, really happy. And if I didn't have it and I would have seen all the images, I would still purchase it because there's something uh, unique about it. I really enjoy it. I don't know how it reads, but I really enjoy it. Uh, seven of Pentacles. Yeah, that, that could be a Seven of Pentacles. It, but with her, it, it, it seems that it's... She's... Uh, what is that? Uh, that it's not her work. It, it just She found herself there. It's like finding money as you walk down the street. It's not yours, but still it is yours. Kind of a that feeling. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. Good. Nice. 
It works. Nine of Pentacles. This is a beautiful Nine of Pentacles. I wish I had a deck like this. The whole thing. Like this one, the death, uh, the other one that I uh, pointed out, um, the strength, I think it was, the strength card. There's some of the images that I really, 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 really like. Uh, now this one, the first time I, I, I saw this image, I, rem I remembered there's uh, from also Zen, uh, I think it's the four of uh, pentacles that kind of gives me, I think, no, I have not checked. Okay, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's the Four of Pentacles that we get the miser. So I think that um, it, it brings me the exact same um, feeling as that. And, and because I'm used to that, because I do use that deck a lot for psychological readings. Uh, and I will, when the time comes, I'll explain how I use it and what I do with it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The Ten of Pentacles uh, might not work because I'm used to seeing this... Um, the vibe of this image coming up differently than this one. But it's not that this doesn't work. In its way, it does. But then, it does, I guess. I, I guess it does. Page of Pentacles. Out in the nature. Nine of Pentacles. I'm not going to say anything. Queen of Pentacles. I like her. I like her as a Queen of Pentacles. I like her. There is some, um, like her feet are kind of a weird. The phalanges, uh, the, you know, the, anyway, it, it's kind of, but it, it's a beautiful image. Like, look at her. She looks very serious and very, um, she knows what she wants, more determined, want more uh, uh, ready to go after what she wants. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. It bothers me that he's so young. And I understand that he's the king, but he, he seems so young. And especially because it's a pentacle, because usually the pentacles, now if someone, and say I'm giving you, I'm trying to give you tips whenever I do a review and things just pop in my head, I try to tell, tell you so that, you know, Kind of, um, because I, I don't have like a book that I have all this information that I know I'm gaining throughout the years from tarot and how to use it. Uh, so whenever something comes into my, into my mind, and usually it's in the reviews because then I have the time to think and I'm not trying to connect and do things. Uh, so the King of Pentacles, you need him to be older because when you're doing a personal reading, so when you're bringing that could work like a king of pentacles in this image could work when you have the energy higher up and you're doing a, a general energy reading a year reading and stuff like that but when you bring the energy down this could come up if there is a relationship with someone who is older if we are talking about uh, so there's a relationship and you you get the hair fun for example um you get the king of pentacles and then you get the seven of uh, wands. And it depends on how you get them, right? Not just out there anywhere. And it's not a three card spread because then they mean different things. But I will explain how I use them and how I do my uh, spreads so that you understand what I'm saying right now. But just imagine what I just uh, said. So if you have this combination in the proper way, then that would mean that the person that you have, uh, that you're doing the reading for, if it's, a, say, a female, then the person um, that she's dating, it's an older person, and there's um, and the people around her do not approve. So it might be the family and by the friends. Um, and then you will have to look into it. Maybe she has uh, children that they don't want someone um, that is th that older. Th there are things coming up. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I do this reading as I, I just described. And I see this. There's... This is no, it's not working. So for, for um, personal readings, and, and now that we're gonna do the general readings, it could work. I don't think I'm gonna have any problem, to be honest, when it comes to general readings, like monthly and love readings and stuff. Although I'm not gonna be using it for a love reading. I don't think it would align anywhere near a love reading. But uh, for a general reading, I think it will work. Cause it does hold the energy. It's like, it's, uh, he's the king. And being so so young still, but he's the more serious of all the kings. 
other than the age factor, there's other elements that he's holding. And I really like the, the King of Pentacles uh, from, what is it called? Other than the um, Light Series Tarot that he's, um, he holds uh, um, all the, the symbolism that I'm looking for. There's the Fountain, Fountain Tarot that I like, uh, the King of Pentacles, because he looks more real, you know. It's an image that I'm, I'm used to seeing. Ace of Swords, a person with an Ace of Swords, is, uh, with a sword. I prefer my sword when it's an Ace of Swords to be facing up. Because it, it depends on the deck that I'm using, I do use directionality sometimes. So I, I would prefer that to look up. But if that was my only problem, then you know, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Two of Swords. Nice. I like this image as well. I like it. I do like it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a three of swords to me, but I do like it. I'm not sure if, if uh, I could pick up that uh, the three of swords energy right away by looking at it. Now that I know it, probably I would because now I know. But if I didn't. The four of swords. What do you think about that? What do you think about that four of swords? I, I don't align with this. I like the image, and but I don't. Five of swords. Six of swords. This is a nice six of swords, by the way. Not this one. The first time I saw it, I was like, what are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing there? And then, I'm sorry about that. If that was not a nice... Um, okay, sorry. Uh, no, it, it could have been better. It could have been better. <laughs> it still could work, but it could have been better. Now, this energy... This energy of the, this card, do you really see it? Can you see it? What do you think? I don't see her being trapped. I don't see her uh, not knowing uh, how to get out. I don't understand why she has made it because this is more of a 10 uh, of swords. This could work nicely for a 10 of swords. Uh, end of cycle, making it through, going through everything, but still, this doesn't look like a native source. So if you get this and you get it, uh, it doesn't work. To me, it doesn't. And I don't even know if this would work for a general reading. It wouldn't work for um, um, a personal, but I don't know if it, if it could align in any way. And I will see, it, because now look at what happens. Because I see this, and to me, it's very, very important in a personal reading. One of, uh, one of the most important cards in a deck is this and some other ones. But I do look for it. If I see it in my, I, in my spread, I look around. I have to figure out what's going on there. This one, if I'm going to use it, uh, I would have to use it the way I see it. I'm not going to use it. Well, it depends what I see around. But probably I wouldn't use it as being uh, trapped somewhere. So when I see it, I will think, okay, this is someone that was uh, in this situation. And now it, it has a vibe of, uh, the, I think it's the after, the after tarot that you get uh, one step after. Not the behind the scenes tarot, but the, the one that you get um, the scene, one, one frame after or something like that. Um, it reminds me of that. The Nine of Swords. That's okay. That's okay. A ten of swords. A ten of swords. A page of swords. A knight of swords. Is this a knight of swords? Because it has this knight, uh, this a sword here. Could could it be something else? I don't know. This is nice. I like this. The queen of swords. This is a serious queen. I like her. I, I do get the, the vibe of the, of the car. Like the seriousness of the, uh, 
the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. It's very cartoony in its way. This deck has a lot of uh, some work. Some some I have problems seeing it. Ace of Wands, Ace, another Ace, another person, and Wands. I don't know. Two of Wands. I like the the image here. Do I really get the, the vibe? I, I love this image, right? But do I get the vibe of a two of ones? I wouldn't say so. This is straightforward. This is nice. It's true. This, this is uh, cartoony, but it's more like a uh, pixel. Pixar. Pixar, not pixel. Pixar. It's more the 3D cartoons. Four of ones. They get their love. Where's, where's the the... The rest, <laughs> this comes closer to uh, maybe a lovers, not a two of cups, but a lovers. Um, and I would like this to work even better for a four of ones if it was zoomed out. So then I could see the whole scene and not a close up because it makes it more alive and more vivid as to the emotional aspect of it. And four of ones doesn't have so much of an emotion. It brings um, other aspects of the fire because it's a four. Five of ones. She's by herself, by the way. And we don't know where she's going. It might be a show. Might not even, she's by herself. Uh, six of ones. Now, the first time I saw this, and I'm sure that everyone thought the same thing, that this is a seven of ones, but it's not. And then if you look at it and you see that it, it like, like this, it says seven of uh, seven. You have to actually count to say that it's not seven. But if you look at it like this, then um, <sighs> once you, you understand that it's not the seven, it's not this, let's just put them together. This is the six and this is the seven. Does, does not, doesn't the seven look more like, a, uh, no, the six look more like a seven. And then what, what would this be with all this force, the, 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 um, the movement? Because it seems that he's running. It's, whereas, is he supposed to be running? I mean, it's very important when you do a reading. And if you have not watched the uh, yearly reading for every sign that I have done, go watch that. Because one of the, the key things on a very, very general scale, and when it comes to layering and leveling your readings, and when you do a general as to a yearly reading, one of the first things that you want to look for is the movement in your cards. So this all of a sudden has a movement, and it's not supposed to have a movement, but it, it does. So then it messes up the energies of the rest of the... Uh, uh, you're reading and then you have to make up your mind and decide do i want um to work with the movement of this or do i want to work with the usual energy that i know that it has and that's what i don't like doing i don't i don't want to have to make up my mind and decide because then i'm like thinking okay what if what if i i should have you know said it like this instead of that and what if and you don't know and why go through all that uh <laughs> stress in my head just give me the seven of wands the energy that i'm familiar with if it's a right or wait if it's not a right or wait because there's a um, other decks that they're not right or wait and they don't even pretend to be they just they say terror but then they say that we're something different <laughs> um then i don't mind because i will have to read the the deck and work with whatever that is but when when it is it's just uh it's just a problem. It's just a problem. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Now with this Eight of Wands, I don't even remember what an Eight of Wands should look like. Is this is this the energy that it should hold? Like you get sometimes you get you see some decks, and you get to the point that you don't even remember. You don't even know your cards. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. That looks better. That looks better. That, that could work. 
But here, what I would do, I would ask the artist to zoom in more and cut down all the dragon flame in the background. And so I can see um, him clearly because he looks more of being okay in the situation and making it so easy. Um, but when you get, when you get the, the Ten of Wands energy around you, you do feel it and you don't feel it like this. It is, uh, it is hard to deal with. It's like being a, a single full-time mother uh, of three. The, and that's the, the, nice, the nice way of um, seeing the ten of, so, uh, a ten of Wands. It has its, you know, bad days. It has its uh, difficulties. This seems flawless, no problem. Uh, page of Wands. Page of Wands. Is that a lizard? Knight of Wands, the little child on the wand. And now, this to me, sometimes, and I think it's the. Okay, help me here. Brain function properly what is it and it's one of my favorite decks and i cannot even come up with a name the i can't all right i find it uh, the knight of, of wands and that deck is very 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 powerful very nice ah here when you get a knight of wands and it's a personal reading so you bring it you're bringing down the energy so you know that the person let's say it's a single uh female and um, uh, she's facing difficulties in uh, her alignment um, with a proper, serious, stable relationship. And this comes up. Now, you either know uh, that the way that she's reacting to relationships is not the right uh, input. So people do not take it so much um, seriously. And then I would look at what is happening around so that I could uh, understand the whole picture and give the, the right feedback as to how she can change that. Uh, but, or if you see that and it's a relationship and that's the other person, I, I would not. The Knight of Wands holds a lot of meanings on a personal reading and I don't see that anywhere here. Another two to go. Are you happy? <laughs> We're almost done. The Queen of Wands. Uh, now this queen of wands, now look at that, just so that, you know, I'm not weird. I am not, I'm just real. <laughs> and I want to do this, or this, uh, okay, there you go. That might sound weird that I'm going to say right now, but if she was the queen of wands, it could maybe work for me. Even this part, the... <laughs> whatever part it, and is this the proportion is this, this right to, to press sit like that it's more like anyway so uh if there was a, a queen of uh, wands and i wouldn't want to see that cuteness here and stuff but all this she has a queen quality but it's more out there and that could be a queen of uh, fire that she's more out there and she doesn't care what the world says. That she's gonna leave her dreams, she's gonna find the man that she likes, might date him and then might date someone else to, and try out things. So she's more daring, she's more out there. And without really caring, so, I'm sorry, so she's um, in her own spirit, in her own fire, and it could work. And I wouldn't mind uh, if she was a queen of um, once. Because, you know, you see some girls that uh, you, you can see their uh, cleavage and you don't mind. You just don't even pay attention to it. And you see some other girls and you mind. It's the way that you see things. So if this is the Six of Pentacles, there's a problem here. If you're going to be giving something, then give it from, from the bottom of your heart. If you're going to be playing games, don't give thanks to, you know, to, to the world. And that's the emotion that I'm looking for. Um... If she was now the Queen of Wands, it would be a nice uh, Queen of Wands. 
It could. Maybe it could work for a Queen of Pentacles as well. Maybe, maybe it could. Because the Queen of Pentacles holds, uh, holds uh, what is called qualities and symbolism when it comes to human body. So um, if you're doing a personal reading, uh, things that have to do with her, with uh, the, the actual body, human body, it could come up with that. So maybe that could work as a symbolism to that, so that I, you know, bring up um, that aspect of the uh, Queen of Pentacles, if that was a Queen of Pentacles. But it's not, and that's why it bothers me because it brings up qualities that they're they're not aligned properly, and that's my the same problem that I have with the Devil in this. Um, in this uh, deck as well. Okay, so the Queen of Wands, seriously, this is, this is, I don't know, I don't, I don't even understand. It's uh, no emotion at all. It's, this is empty. It's like a Queen of uh, Cups. More like in my own space, in my own world, in my own emotions. Not wanting anything. I feel good where I'm at. Leave me alone. Or it's, and, and even I'm depressed. It, it could be. It could be he's depressed. See, see, look at, look at that. And the King of Wands. Not much to say about him either, right? <laughs> he's a king and he's a wand. What I would do here, because I see just one thing, uh, I would, I would just work with the coloration of it, lower, lower it down, so that is more um, not structural or uh, color, color oriented. So that I see the differences. Because imagine if I had a deck like this and it was like the whole thing like that. I would have to, it would be too too hard to work with. Not to have in your collection because it depends why you're buying a deck for. And I buy, you'll see my collection. I have a lot of uh, decks um, and you will see, and I still purchase decks every, every month. Uh, but you will see that I have all different kinds of decks. And I wanted to explore uh, this collective um, idea uh, more. And there's a lot of beautiful decks that I have seen in the past and I did not purchase them. That they were more theme oriented than these. And there's one that, uh, what's her name um, from this channel? She's, she's not uh, on anymore. She's not doing any more uh, YouTube videos. I don't know why. I hope she's doing well. Um, uh, I think Sacred Seed. That she loved one of these um, collective, collab collaborative decks. And she was uh, like using it a lot. And I saw it and I was like, I gotta have it. And then I was like, there's no way I can work with that. But now I'm, I'm willing with you to explore and see how this works out. So if um, coming up April, um, general readings and love readings for our love readings, we're gonna be using. Uh oh, I don't want this to fall. This is uh, what I, we're going to do the next review, and I'm going to be using this, the Muse Tarot, uh, for our love readings for April. So stay tuned for that. And then uh, if you don't see this, <laughs> then it seems that I cannot align with the deck and I cannot work with it. Not because it's not um, a good deck, it's because I cannot read with it. Maybe other people can, you know, uh, perform wonders, you know, with it, but it's, it might not be for me. Not for me. For me, I will keep it. There's no way I'm giving this away. Uh, but for me, it has to, to read with. And we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. And then maybe, maybe I will do a second uh, part of this. Because if it, if it works, then I want to uh, give some input and, and feedback to how it works. And maybe, you know what, when I do the readings, I'll just, you know, say, say things. Because I'm just like that. I say things. Okay. It was nice having you here. It was lovely doing this reading for you. Uh, subscribe, come back for more. I'm going to be doing some very, very, very interesting things, um, such as, uh, okay, strategic planning, talking about the tarot, what is good, what is bad, what is evil, how do they work, why do they work? Um, is it uh, something bad behind it or is it just good? Um, teaching you how to use it for beginners and more advanced professionals or not. Uh, I am professional myself, so I guess I, I could uh, give some advice. Um, and then we're going to have uh, coaching strategies. There's uh, so many things that I, I'm going to be doing here. So do come back. 
Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for everything. You're lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye.